The Bothnian Bay or Bay of Bothnia Swedish, Botanviken, Finnish, Puramari, is the northernmost part of the Gulf of Bothnia, which is in turn the northern part of the Baltic Sea. The land holding the bay is still rising after the weight of Ice Age glaciers has been removed, and within 2,000 years the bay will be a large freshwater lake. The bay today is fed by several large rivers, and is relatively unaffected by tides, so has low salinity. It freezes each year for up to six months. Compared to other parts of the Baltic it has little plant or animal life. Extent The bay is divided from the Bothnian Sea, the southern part of the Gulf of Bothnia, by the northern Kork Strait. The northern Kork has a greatest depth of 65 metres 213 feet, with two ridges that are just 25 metres 82 feet deep. It lies between a group of islands off Vasa in Finland and another group at Halmorna in Sweden. The bay is bounded by Finland to the east and Sweden to the west. The bay is asymmetric, with a smoother and shallower bottom slope on the Finnish side, and a deeper bottom with a steeper and more rugged coast on the Swedish side. The Bothnian Bay has a catchment area of 260,675 square kilometers, 100,647 square miles. Of this, 56% lies in Finland, 44% in Sweden and less than 1% in Norway. The catchment contains about 11,500,000 hectares, 28 million acres of forest, split roughly equally between Sweden and Finland. The average depth is 41 meters, 135 feet. The Lulia Deep is the deepest part of the bay at 146 meters, 479 feet, southeast of the town of Lulia. On the Finnish side the average depth is 30 metres 98 feet. The deepest part is near the island of Longkaiten, with a depth of 50 metres 160 feet. <inaudible> Isostatic rebound The bay lies in the area in northern Europe where the ice was at its thickest during the last ice age. The Bay of Bothnia was under ice until the Ancelus Lake. Period 6000 BC, when the ice sheet withdrew to the mountains of northern Scandinavia. The land is now rising by post-glacial rebound at the highest rate in the Baltic Sea, at an estimated rate of 9 mm a year. Today the Bothnian Bay lies around 300 meters 980 feet higher than it did at the end of the Ice Age. The local population has seen the sea retreating during their lifetimes from piers and boathouses, leaving them stranded on land. Some former islands such as Porsen and Hertzen near the city of Lulia are still called islands, but are now connected to the mainland. The maximum depth at the Kvarkan Sound today is around 20 metres 66 feet. In not less 2,000 years the exit from the bay at Kvarkan will be raised above sea level, which will result in it becoming Europe's largest lake. Hydrology The Bothnian Bay has a harsher environment than other parts of the Greater Baltic Sea. The bay is ice covered for 110 to 190 days each year. Tides have little effect, but high winds driving the water from the south or north may cause the water level to rise or fall by 1.5 meters 4 feet 11 in. Major rivers that flow into the bay include the salinity is only about 0.2 psu in the northern part of the bay, dropping almost to zero in some of the archipelagos with large river inflows. The low salinity and cold temperatures in winter results in ice that is considerably stronger than more saline or warmer ice. Islands <inaudible> 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 If an island is defined as an area of land more than 20 square meters (220 square feet) that is surrounded by water, the Bay of Bothnia has 4,001 islands. The largest island is Hiluoto. The north of the bay contains a large archipelago area. The Swedish portion of this area is the Norrbotten archipelago. This is divided into the Pitea, Lulia, Kallax, and Haparanda archipelagos. Many of the islands are uninhabited and in a natural state. In the winter the larger islands may be accessed via ice roads. 
Some of them are inhabited or have seasonal fishing villages used by people from the mainland. The Swedish Haparanda Archipelago National Park, Swedish Haparanda Skargards National Park, occupies the Haparanda group of islands bordering the Finnish Bothnian Bay National Park. It includes the larger islands of Sandskar and Seskar Furo, and some smaller islands and skerries. All of these islands have emerged in the last 1,500 years as the bed of the bay has risen. The Bay of Bothnia National Park in the Finnish section Finnish, Paramarin Kansalispuisto, Swedish, Botanvikans National Park, established in 1991, is located in the archipelago offshore from Tornio and Kemi. It covers 157 square kilometers, 61 square miles, of which about 2.5 square kilometers, 0.97 square miles is land. Topic: Ecology. Topic: The cork ridge at the south of the bay defines the dividing line beyond which many salt water species are unable to survive. Instead of the red and brown algae found further south, the bay has predominantly green algae and phanerogams. Annual plant species are almost completely dominant. The only perennials are a few specimens of the freshwater cryptogram Isoetes echinospora and the moss fontanalis dalicarlica. Often the green algae have a dense covering of epiphytic diatoms. The shores, beaches and shallows include a variety of northern plant species including the endemic yellow hair grass Deschampsia botnitsa. the only filter feeders are Aphidacea and, at the river mouths, small numbers of freshwater mussels. Bivalves make up 9% of animal biomass. Crustaceans, mostly Sideria entomon make up 45% and Gastropoda 30%. The gastropoda are grazing snails related to freshwater species. Fish species found in the area's lakes and rivers also live in the bay, including roach, perch, pike, and grayling. Ringed seal, gray seal, cod, herring, and salmon may also be found in the bay. In the 16th century, seals were hunted in the Bay of Bothnia. Ringed seals were captured using nets in the inshore open water, and were stalked and captured in their dens or at breathing holes. Both gray and ringed seals were hunted along the edge of the ice. Wild salmon roe harvested from the Calyx River, known as Calyx lodrum or as sea gold, is a delicacy with a European protected designation of origin. Birdlife includes the black guillemot, velvet scoter, oystercatcher, lesser black backed gull, western capercaillie, and willow ptarmigan. Moose and hare are found on the islands, as on the mainland. Occasionally, whales have been observed in Bothnian Sea, and remains of extinct Atlantic grey whale was found from Grasso. While it is not clear whether or not whales might once reached Bothnian Bay historically. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Population. Topic: <inaudible> Ports on the Finnish side include Haukiputas, Jakobsted, Kemi, Kakola, Aulu, Rahe, and Tornio. The largest towns by population on the Finnish side as of 2013 were Aulu 192,680, Tornio 22,374, Kemi 22,157, Kempele 16,549, Rahe 25,641, Kalajoki 12,637, Kakola 46,697 and Jakobsted 19,636. In Finland the catchment area included about 544,000 hectares 1,340,000 acres of arable land as of 1993. There were four Finnish pulp and paper mills, of which two Vitsaluoto Oi and Metsa Botnia Oi were producing bleached craft paper. On the Swedish side ports include Haparanda, Karlsborg, Kalix, Lulia, Pitia and Skelleftia. The largest towns on the Swedish side as of 2013 were Lulia 74,000, Skelleftia 71,641, Pitia 40,860 and Kallax 16,926. Lulia is the largest city in Norrbotten with the largest airport. The 1,312 islands of the Lulia archipelago are an important tourist attraction, as is the Gamelsted Church village listed as a UNESCO World Heritage site. As of 1993 there were about 113,000 hectares acres of arable land in the Swedish part of the catchment basin, mostly used for small-scale low-intensity farming. There were five pulp and paper mills, of which one produced bleached craft paper. In the late 1960s the bay was being used to transport fuel oil to the Finnish settlements around the bay. 
In 1968 about 950,000 tons of cellulose and 230,600 tons of paper and cardboard were exported, a figure that was rising. In 1968 ships calling at the Finnish ports carried about 388,872 tons of iron bars and 64,326 tons of steel sheets. Mining and mineral products such as coal and ore were carried to and from the ports, and steel products were exported. Sea transport continued throughout the winter. In 1993 there were two non-ferrous heavy metal smelters, in Ronsker and Kakola, emitting significant quantities of heavy metals. Efforts were being made to reduce emissions. The drainage basin also held three iron and steel plants and a number of mines. Human activities have affected the fragile sub-Arctic environment. Dredging and other activities related to sea transport affect marine life. Agriculture, forestry and peat mining in the catchment basin add nutrients to the bay, affecting the ecological balance, while pollutants are delivered from steel mills and from pulp and paper mills around the bay, as well as from sewage treatment plants. Steel mills and stainless steel plants may have released nickel and chromium. Efforts have been made to reduce pollution through improved technology, but some areas along the Finnish coastline show evidence of eutrophication. Compared to other parts of the Baltic, higher levels of nitrate have been found in the Bothnian Bay and lower levels of phosphate and silicates. Gallery References Citations Sources <references>